Today, we're going to talk about why French fries are so darn addictive, especially if you're consuming them at a fast food restaurant. So what's in a French fry? Well, we have the potato, but we're not talking about a raw potato. We're talking about a cooked potato. And when you cook a potato, a starch, those carbohydrates break down into sugar. And so they're going to create a huge spike in your insulin. So we have the potato, we have the vegetable oil. Now, vegetable oil sounds very, very healthy, right? Well, it's actually coming from either corn or canola, maybe cottonseed, not peanut oil anymore, mainly corn or canola. And of course, both of these are GMO, which means they have traces of glyphosate, which is an herbicide. And when you're going to a restaurant, you don't know how often that oil is used over and over and over. Next thing, natural beef flavoring, which contains wheat and milk derivatives. Then we have dextrose, which is a synthetic sugar made from more corn. Corn is GMO. It has traces of glyphosate. Then we have salt, and we're not talking about sea salt, we're talking about sodium chloride. Two minerals instead of 84 minerals. Citric acid, TBHQ as a preservative, and then another chemical to preserve the color. Now there's an interesting book about relieving depression called Potatoes, Not Prozac, because the effect of potatoes on your mood. Now potatoes may affect your mood, but they also come with a package. They will raise insulin because they are pretty high on the glycemic index. And the form of potato that most people consume is not very, very healthy. If you were to consume a raw potato, I don't think that would be a problem, but of course, try to consume a raw potato. Not very appetizing. Here's the big problem. When you consume a French fry with all these different things in it, you are going to stimulate your neurotransmitters in your brain, specifically a center in your brain called the nucleus accumbens. This little nerve bundle is the center of the brain involved in addictions. So when someone is taking crack or cocaine or any of those drugs, the effect that that's created is through the nucleus accumbens. So the nucleus accumbens, that little center, will increase dopamine and serotonin. Both of these are pleasure neurotransmitters. So it's not really the drug that's creating the direct pleasure effect. It's really your body is creating the pleasure through the drug triggering it. Well, when you consume sugar or refined carbohydrates, especially French fries, you are definitely going to trigger this nucleus accumbens and raise dopamine. And that is why it's so addictive. That's why it's so pleasurable. And of course, when you consume French fries, you need to add ketchup, right? So then we're adding another four grams of sugar per tablespoon. But it's not just regular sugar. It's high fructose corn syrup and with additional corn syrup. Again, GMO, more glyphosate. So what this will do is just exaggerate the effects of what this is doing on your blood sugars. And what I'm talking about is this. When you take a starch and you combine it with a fat and sugar and heat, you're going to create what's called glycation. And glycation is basically the binding of a sugar molecule with a fat or a sugar molecule with a protein. And that decreases elasticity within your arteries, within your veins, and your tendons. It clogs up certain uh, connections in the brain. It creates sticky proteins in the body, which accelerates the aging process. Um, you're also going to experience a lot of bloating because when you consume this, and of course, most people don't just have french fries. They're having a hamburger, meat, right? When you combine this with protein, of course, the bun, not to mention the Coke, and the ketchup, you're going to create a tremendous amount of bloating within your um, bile ducts around the gallbladder and the ducts between the pancreas and the small intestine. So you're going to get a lot of pressure in that area. And over time, if you continue to do this, you're going to get scar tissue and lead to gallstones and problems with your bile and problems with digestion. And not to mention a spike in insulin. So you're going to get a lot of inflammation, not just in the digestive system, in your joints, and it's going to create a lot of inflammation in your colon. All right, that being said, so I know that most people are not going to be perfect with their diet. 
This video is mainly increasing the awareness on the combinations of these different things that are in a french fry and the effects that it can create on the body. So maybe in the future, you might not have the quantities of a french fry, or maybe you might not consume these as often. Or when you do consume a french fry, maybe you're not going to add the ketchup because now you know the effects that it can create. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.